So a couple days ago I had some extra time on my hands and I decided I would cruise through a couple miscellaneous YouTube videos. Things that is not on my subscription list just to poke around and see what I could find. And that's when I found this one. Now this is an interview with Sam Harris about his book A Letter to a Christian Nation from a couple years ago. Nothing particularly interesting until you get to this point. Now here's a user called Christian Mission and he says religion causes violence Sam Harris, the great champion of free thought, yet is pro-torture and pro-murder. Harris bluntly says, Some propositions are so dangerous that it may even be ethical to kill people for believing them. Well, Sammy, your admiration and promotion of torture and murder may qualify as dangerous, so why not line up and get ready for the firing squad? Now, I've read the book. That doesn't sound like something that he would say, and it really sounds like something that, if he did say, was taken out of context. So I decided I would poke around and maybe find out what he was talking about. Now the quote did not come from the letter from Christian Nation. Rather it was from his book, The End of Faith, in which he said, The power that belief has over our emotional lives appears to be total. For every emotion that you are capable of feeling, there is surely a belief that can invoke it in a matter of moments. Considering the follow-up proposition, your daughter is being slowly tortured in an English jail. What is it that stands between you and the absolute panic that such a proposition would lose in the mind and body of a person who believed it? Perhaps you do not have a daughter, or you know her to be safely at home, or you believe that English jailers are renowned for their congeniality. Whatever the reason, the door to belief has not yet swung open upon its hinges. The link between be belief and behavior raises the stakes considerably. Some propositions are so dangerous that it may even be ethical to kill people for believing them. This may seem an extraordinary claim, but it merely enunciates an ordinary fact about the world in which we live. Certain beliefs place their adherence beyond the reach of every peaceful means of persuasion, while inspiring them to commit acts of extraordinary violence against others. There is, in fact, no talking to some people. If they cannot be captured, and often they cannot. Otherwise, tolerant people may be justified in killing them in self-defense. This is what the United States has attempted in Afghanistan, and it is what we and other Western powers are bound to attempt at an even greater cost to ourselves and to innocents abroad, elsewhere in the Muslim world. We will continue to spill blood in what is, at bottom, a war of ideas. Now, put into that particular context, it's still an extraordinary claim, but at least it is in a context in which you can understand what Sam Harris was actually trying to say. So, I wrote a response back to Christian Mission, which says, If you're going to attack him, then you should at least get your context right. Read the end of faith, pages 52 to 53, to get the correct context of that statement. And stop spitting out mis common misquotes, like everyone else. Also, even if he had said that, how the hell did you get torture out of it? That passage didn't say anything about torture. So after I posted that, I got a little curious, and I wanted to see who this Christian Mission guy was. And that's when I went to his site. Let's take a look at a couple of his videos. Where have I heard this before? I've heard this somewhere. She said my name. Did you hear that? Did you hear how she said my name? Of course she said your name. She was calling the roll. Okay, okay, I'm kidding. It was actually... Yes, okay, I'm having a little bit of fun, but can you blame me? I was actually going to leave a comment on his channel, but... Nah.